Breaking news, we have yet another high-profile cable news host departure to announce. This just in, Don Lemon is out at CNN. Of course, coming after the news that Tucker Carlson and Fox News have parted way. So this is quite a day so far. In a statement posted to his Twitter, Lemon said, quote, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned after 17 years at CNN. Would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I've loved at the network. It is clear there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They're the most talented journalists in the business, and I wish them all the best. Statement from Chris Licht, chairman and CEO of CNN, says to my colleagues, CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family. We thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well, and we'll be cheering for him on his future endeavors. CNN this morning has been on the air for nearly six months, and we're committed to its success. Yeah, well, when he alludes to other issues at play, I think a lot of folks are going to be thinking about some recent controversies he's been mixed up in. Of course, who can forget um, his little colloquy about how Nikki Haley was past her prime? But what we learned is that that's maybe just the tip of the iceberg. Variety did a longer profile earlier this month titled Don Lemon's Misogyny at CNN Exposed, malicious texts mocking female co-workers and, quote, diva-like behavior. There were a number of instances, including apparently calling one of his producers fat to her face, getting into a weird um, spat with uh, co-host Kyra Phillips, who was later taken from her show. But when she landed a, a gig um, uh, on CNN reporting do, on, a, on, a, on a reporting um, excursion and assignment in Iraq that he really wanted to be a part of, apparently he sent her threatening texts anon anonymously that were traced back to him. People didn't know what the actual result of the internal investigation over that were, was, but they were separated um, as a, as a co-hosting team after that. And it seems to be really part and parcel of a pattern of behavior. So perhaps mm. it should not be so surprising that he was let go. Perhaps what's more surprising is that it took this long. Sure. I don't think any of us were nearly as shocked to hear that Don Lemon was being let go as we were to hear that Fox News is parting ways with Tucker Carlson, right. um, even though, as we talked about in the other segments, uh, you know, there was the ongoing the, the legislation, the, uh, the lawsuit with Dominion. There was going to be future lawsuits. Potentially, it has something to do with that. The timing would certainly seem to suggest that, although we don't know for sure. Don Lemon is someone who has been a little bit mired in controversy, as you noted, uh, as of late. Um, was someone who actually had shown kind of basic contempt for his colleagues in the realm of the journalism they were doing. Um, there was the Jesse, he very much bought into the Jesse Smollett um, mm -hmm. Allegations. Yeah, that, that was so long ago. Hate crime. Um, yeah. He he caught, got on the wrong side of a lot of black folks by participating in some of the um, kind of pull up your pants, uh, you know, stop sagging kind of uh, mm. sh shaming of, you know, clothing and things like that as an excuse for why there were various disparities in the community. Um, he, in 2014, uh, got a lot of pushback when he told a Bill Cosby rape accuser that she should have, that she could have stopped an attack by biting the comedian's private parts. Um, he is where will we turn to uh, <laughs> now for that commentary that he's gone? Hmm. I, I, we were we were joking during the Tucker segment that or not joking, but saying that he very easily could go somewhere else and hang up his own shingle and start a, a podcast or a YouTube show or a Substack or anything he wanted to and immediately have an enormous audience because that's Tucker. the power of him. Right. That Don Lemon is not in the same position. In fact, arguably, CNN sure. has been shuffling him around from show to show um, without recouping much in the way of audience shares. Uh, he doesn't seem to have the same pull as certain other media figures. And it is unclear why, especially given this long record of bad behavior, they've, man they've, they've decided to keep them around as long as they have. Um, for those of you who maybe have forgotten the latest uh, controversy, I think we have a clip of that uh, fracas over the Nikki Haley uh, critique. Let's take a Let's look. Let's play that one more time, please. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What do you that's, not wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? 
Uh, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll. If you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say twenties, thirties, and forties. I don't necessarily. Forties. Oh, I got it. Another I'm not decade. saying I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that you know politicians aren't in their I think prime. We need, and they need to qualify. To are you talking about prime for like child I mean, bearing, or are you don't talking shoot about the best prime drum, for being say president? What the facts are. Google it. Everybody at home. When is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s, and 40s. And I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime and they need to be in their prime when they serve because she wouldn't be in her prime according to Google, you know, Google or whatever it is. <laughs> this whole Man, that never gets old. And when you read this Variety piece, it's wild how many of these instances he's had. Apparently, he was on a panel with S.E. Cup last September, and she was stumbling over a statistic. She just, you know, was trying to come up with it. And he said to her, is it fair, is it fair to say this because I'm not a mommy, but is it mommy brain? <laughs> <laughs> stop. Like, just, just don't. Just don't. Just stop. So remember, CNN has asked a lot of people. There was the whole Cuomo debacle over the brothers, you know, a media brother helping a political mm -hmm. brother kind of massage a very difficult political situation he was in. Brian the Stelter years. exiting. Brian Stelter. And over and over again, Lemon has yeah. survived the axe. This is the end of an era. I will be looking forward to seeing what he does next. Uh, Stelter was pointing out with respect to both of these individuals, uh, Tucker and Don, Stelter was saying that he got a final show. Um, you know, he was let go, but it was he was allowed to do a, a, a final yeah, show, and this will not be the case for either of those individuals. Again, we don't know exactly what the Tucker situation is. The the Don Lemon case, we do know. He, he was fired. Yeah, and Don Very Lemon seems pretty chatty uh, based on that the, the statement mm -hmm. we read out earlier that he it just tweeted out a few minutes before we started rolling this. So I suspect we're going to hear more from him about how he perceives that he was wronged here. So we will give you updates on that when it happens. These White House correspondence dinner parties <laughs> this weekend are going to be <laughs> everybody fearing for their for their jobs and their lives. Something something is happening. Do you think that this is there? There's a relationship between these two huge firings happening on the same day. I mean, no, or not firing. We don't know what happened with Tucker, but I, I don't know what the relationship would be. It is a wild coincidence that these are. I mean, Don Lemon leaving is not as earth shattering as Tucker leaving is. It's, it's still a pretty big deal. I mean, the 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 scuttlebutt in the news space is to say if you want to bury something, you release it on a Friday. Yeah. So these are both oh, coming they, out on Monday. So maybe the Tucker thing. Happened, and then and they're trying they to decide. Bury Here's this. how we bury it: we fire Don Levin. We we are we are go on Operation <laughs> Past His Prime. I mean, it very much <laughs> is the lesser of the two stories. Yeah. But there is this other way in which it becomes attached now to the Tucker Carlson story and might have more legs. What we need is for these things to happen in three. So who's next, Robbie? <laughs> MSNBC has to has to cut has someone. To offer up someone to, uh, as tribute. <laughs> uh, not us, not us. The threes will not be not be on uh, on this little little mini <laughs> rising network. Um, all right, more rising right after this.